On the Tracks login screen, enter your username and password. If you are unsure of your username, you can click on the three dots to the right of the username box. A drop down of all users is displayed. Select the user and enter your password. Tracks 10 has a new user interface, but the forms have basically stayed the same. The contacts manager is now called the forms manager. When you first log into Tracks, the grid is not pre-populated. A search must be performed in order to see existing forms. The search box below allows you to choose specific search criteria. On the general tab, you can search by user ID, location, form type, or status. You can also search by typing the form number all in caps or by a specific date criteria. If you have a specific search that you frequently use, you can save this search by clicking on the Save button. The search will be saved under the Favorites tab. On the Advanced tab, you can search by contact name or description. On the Custom tab, there are additional options you can search on, such as plate number. The navigational panel on the left is made up of four tabs. The Quick Add tab shows all of the form types that are available to you. Form Preview is a snapshot of important information about the form that is currently selected. Open Contacts show all the forms contained in a contact, and External Information stores specific contact information such as individuals, vehicles, and location. On the top of the Forms Manager, there are different menu options. On the Home tab, a user can add a new contact. There are two new forms, the Standalone Driver Acts and the Police Agency Request for Driver Review. Add a form allows you to add another form to an existing contact. You can also delete and print. On the View tab, the navigation allows you to change the location of the navigational panel or hide items. Nighttime mode is used mostly in the vehicles. It changes the color scheme to black on white. The tracks log gives the user information on when a form was created and any status changes. The show search can be useful in the vehicle also. It hides the search box below. On the actions tab, a supervisor can accept or reject a crash report Show Rejection Reason will let a user see why the crash report was rejected. Void allows a supervisor to void an issued ticket. Submit is a new status in Tracks 10. The final status for all forms must be submitted with the exception of tickets. Another new feature in Tracks 10 is the ability to seal records. This ability should only be given to designated supervisors. On the Tools tab, User Preferences allows a user to perform an auto search after login, edit their signature, password, and change appearance. If the auto search after login is turned on, every time a user logs into Tracks, a search will automatically be performed. The Edit Appearance setting allows a user to change the look and feel of Tracks. If a user changes the color of Tracks, it is user specific. Reset Tracks Defaults allows the user the ability to revert all settings back to the original install of Tracks. The DMV search will search the hot list based on plate number or license ID. On the Data Transfer tab, there are two types of Start Shift. Start Shift will bring out forms that you may want to finish in the car, User File, User Signatures, and the Hot List. The Start Shift user file will just bring out to the car the user file, signatures, and hot list. On the Help tab, there is a comprehensive help guide. If you click on the paw at the top left, you can email reports from Tracks. Forms must be at least in validated status. Reports can also be exported to PDF. On the Form Grid, you can sort forms by clicking on the header name. You can filter by clicking on the filter icon. There are other options available by right-clicking on the header name.
To open an existing form, select the record and click on the Open Form button. The contact will open in a new window. The form is in view mode only. The data bar is not visible. You will need to select the Edit Form button to make changes to the form. If you want to change the style of the data bar, right click and select either Basic or Advanced Data Bar. Once all the changes have been made to the form, click the Close Contact button. 